This morning on Going Green, a motorcycle with a message. As NBC's John Larson discovered, just because a vehicle doesn't run on gas doesn't mean it can't run fast. At the Vandermeer Speedway outside Denver, Colorado, racing enthusiasts take to the track in their souped-up hot rods, streetcars, and motorcycles. But on this day, none of these gas-powered speedsters performed better or went faster than this one. An electric-powered motorcycle dubbed the Kilocycle. This is the only electric vehicle that goes over 150 miles an hour in a quarter mile. Owner Bill Dubay and rider Scotty Polacek have been racing the Killa cycle for seven years. For them, it's about proving that electric dragsters can run with the big boys. We want to beat all the gas guys. We want to beat all the nitrous guys. We want to beat everybody, and we will. The Killa cycle is powered by 990 lithium battery cells that generate 350 horsepower. The 619 pound bike accelerates from zero to 60 in just under a second. Think of it as a giant cordless drill on wheels. It's kind of like being shot out of a cannon. You know, you go from zero to 60 miles an hour so fast that it, uh, it's just kind of mind-boggling. For Dubé and Polacek, who both hold regular day jobs, racing the Killa cycle is not only their passion, but it's also a way to prove that electric vehicles are about more than just efficiency. Electric cars, they don't need to be slugs or nerdmobiles or traveling science projects. These are re can be really high-performance vehicles and still be very, very economical. Experts believe that electric dragsters like the Kilocycle are driving the technology that will eventually be commonplace in mass-produced cars. Chevrolet is already getting into the game with the Volt, due out in 2010, powered by a lithium pack similar to the one used in the Kilocycle. For Dubé and his team, this day marks a victory on the track and a step towards greener technology. Racing towards the future at breakneck speed. For today, John Larson, NBC News, Los Angeles.